the Indian justice system has failed. The biggest failure of our 75 years of freedom has been the failure of the justice system to deliver justice to people. If you have to wait 15, 20 years to get justice in a small case, what do you do? There are cases of a constitutional nature pending in the Supreme Court for 20, 25 years. Cases are not heard even for rent control, for small crimes, etc. There's some 250,000 under trials in prison, poor people who have spent more than 50% of the time they would have been sentenced to if they had been charged, if they had been convicted for the crime. What do you do with these poor people? Supreme Court has said if they spend 50% of the time, they must be released. They're not being released. Today, if you're rich and you have the right uh, uh, connection with the right lawyers, you can go to Supreme Court and get an immediate relief, like happened for Tista Setulwa. Like the SD said, what happens to all these women who don't have access to a lawyer and can't afford to pay a lawyer? I mean, are they to be denied uh, justice? The Supreme Court should have passed an order that anybody who goes before the high court for a bail should get a bail within 72 hours. That should be in the order so everybody benefits. But the Supreme Court gave a conditional bail or interim bail and put it back. What about all the people? So the justice system has failed. There has to be justice reform. Justice reform means that the capacity of the lower judiciary has to be enhanced. Capacity of high courts have to be enhanced. The appointments have to be made much quicker. The technology has to be brought in the justice system. Much more investment has to be done. That is holding India back. Mm -hmm.